So, guess what I'm doing that's really stupid um, on the very long list of very many things in my life that I've done that are extremely stupid. I'm bleaching my f eyebrows today because I don't know, it's really high fashion. I really like it. So we're gonna give this a whirl here. See how it goes. I need to pluck my eyebrows first. L'Oreal Quick Blue. L'Oreal, um. Orior Cream? I don't. What the f <laughs> I don't know. It's their developer, 20 volume. I don't want to go any higher than that because that's not safe when you're using L'Oreal Quick Blue because L'Oreal Quick Blue is like battery acid. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe it's the strongest consumer grade bleach available. So, um, yeah. And the only reason I call it battery acid is because I watch Brad Mondo videos. So, if he somehow manages to stumble across this video, I hope my eyebrows don't fall out. <laughs> Ah. Wait, knock on wood. I hope my eyebrows don't fall out. A little late for that, I guess. So if Brad Mondo somehow ends up on my channel, what's up? I watch a lot of your videos. Um, hopefully this isn't a fail and I don't end up in one of them. So um, we'll see how this goes. <laughs> <laughs> Of course, it's always better to have a thicker bleach than a really runny one. If you have a really runny bleach, it's just, it's not gonna stay put. Um, especially when it comes to dyeing areas with like shorter hair, like eyebrows. Um, it's good to have a thick one. It's also good to have a thick bleach when you're working around your eyes. So it doesn't um, run and um, literally f blind you. So I'm gonna try to get my eyebrows platinum and make absolutely no promises. I did box dye them a couple of times before, so we'll see how this goes, I guess. I've box dyed them a light kind of warm brown that was probably like a level five or six. It was cute. Um, but then I decided to box dye my hair jet black, like literally a week later, which is not only so horrible for your hair, but um, also for your eyebrows. <laughs> but you know what? I've shaved my brows since then, so this is all virgin hair on my eyebrows. Why I'm deciding to bleach it, I really could not tell you. I'm like shaking <laughs> a little bit because I'm nervous. But it's fine. This is not my first time bleaching or coloring anything. I definitely work with a lot of clients. They're always my friends. But um, not this one. Meaning you. <laughs> okay. So this is only a 20 volume developer. So will it pull platinum? Probably not. But then again, I could be wrong. It could pull platinum because it's virgin hair. This already looks really strange. So we shall see how this progresses. Lightener does not process past an hour. I think all hair color actually does not process past an hour. So, um, I'll probably actually just do the full hour because it's like, why not? If I want them platinum, waiting the full hour is gonna be my best bet. Well, that wasn't supposed to happen. <laughs> okay. Now we wait. <laughs> All right, so 
It has officially been an hour. I don't, I don't, I really don't know what's gonna happen right now. So, um, whew. I'm gonna take them off. Well, I'm gonna take the bleach off and I'm gonna try to not look. So, we'll see how this goes. Okay, so I haven't looked yet. Oh my god. Well, they're definitely blonde. Hello. I missed a little bit of the roots up towards the front here. I don't know if you can see that or not. But, um, they're blonde, that's for sure. I wouldn't even call them blonde. I, they're just yellow. Like, hello. I think all that's left is like, I kind of want to tone these so they're not like literally yellow. Cause that's not even what I wanted. <laughs> it's yellow. So now I'm going to mix up a tiny bit of color cream. This is not, this ain't it. This ain't it. It definitely could be worse, but at the same time, it could not be much worse. <laughs> this is yellow. So what I'm gonna do is mix up a tiny bit of the Ion Color Brilliance in, um, I believe this is 8N. And um, most of this is already gone, so um, I'm scared because I don't have the actual Ion developer, which in theory shouldn't make that much of a difference. But so I'm gonna use this developer because it's the only one that I have. And I'm gonna put a little bit in there, not much. And then I'm going to put the tiniest tiniest little hint of this in there. I just kind of want to use a little tiny bit to kind of tone them so they're not quite so yellow. This will give more of like a kind of brownish blonde. Not this. I, this is not what I wanted. Hello. This is yellow. So. I'm trying to mix this up the best I can. It seemed like it was having a little bit of a difficult time mixing with this developer, which did not happen the first time, but I suppose it's because I used a lot, a lot of color cream. There was more color cream than developer in that mixture, so. Mm -hmm. And my eyebrows feel like really dry after that bleach, which scares me because they're virgin hair, so they shouldn't be, they have no business feeling that fried. So, we're gonna wait 15 minutes. Hopefully these come out kind of like strawberry blondes, not like so yellow. So, um, we're gonna try this color cream with the developer. It's already kind of turning a little bit of a more strawberry blonde, not quite so yellow. So hallelujah, we're already on the right track. Obviously I'm not very clean with my application method. We shall see what happens. Um, and if this doesn't tone them the way that I want it to, um, I'm probably just gonna like wait a week or two, live with the yellow, um, move on, and then try again. But the reason I wanna wait a week um, is because obviously I don't need my eyebrows to fall out again. Just because it happened once, I did it on purpose the first time, doesn't mean I need to have, have it happen by accident. So. I know it's only been like two minutes, but, um, I'm probably gonna process for a half an hour instead of 15 minutes. Okay, so it's been a half an hour. Um, it doesn't look like much has happened other than them getting more yellow than they were before. Um, so, here we go.
Still haven't had any hair fall out. Oof, they are sensitive though, I will say that much. Okay, I haven't looked yet. How bad are they? That's not good. They look like you shaved your eyebrows. Oh, okay, that's not bad at all. Okay, that's a lot better of a blonde than it was before. Okay, I'm not too mad at that. I'm not too mad at that at all. Is it like exactly what I had envisioned? No, but it's not bad. I don't mind it. Also, for some reason, it could be the lighting or it could just be I f***ed up, but they look a little green. <laughs> I don't know. I really, I'm gonna go look under some different lighting. Oh no, they look even more green. Oh God, oh no. Uh, actually, it's not that bad. Kind of a buttery yellow, but it's less of like a bad yellow and like this is a lot better of a yellow than they were before. So, eyebrow bleaching journey, halfway complete. <laughs> I'm definitely not gonna be processing these any longer. I'm gonna like let this hair color run its course when all the um, hairs fall out or get plucked out or whatever. Um, I will just let them go back to brown on their own. So, I'm gonna put some conditioner on, leave that for about 15 minutes, hopefully that will help them feel less dry. I know you can't physically repair damage, like once the damage is done, it's done, can't be fixed. But just so I feel, <laughs> just like mentally, so I feel better about it and so they physically feel a little better, I'm gonna put some conditioner on, do a deep condition, leave it for 15 minutes, and then call that a day. I will update you guys tomorrow when the skin around my brows is slightly less red, but like I have a lot of redness in my skin, so it's probably not gonna get a lot different. But yeah, this was kind of a success. I'm not mad at these, I'm really not. So yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please leave a like below if you enjoyed watching me low-key destroy my eyebrows. And uh, yeah, I will see you all in the next one. Bye!